Hello. These are all components you have to have to assemble Iris Valve for my Sharp Dust Collection system. All parts are 3D printed, but you also need some M3 screws 20mm long, nuts and perhaps 3mm drill to clean up printed holes and some sandpaper to smooth sliding surfaces. And this is example pipe. Okay, first of all, use the drill. I've drilled all holes on those two parts to clean them up, but they can be snug fit. Only on this part holes have to be wider than screw, it have to move freely. And like I said, I'm using 3mm thick and 20mm long screws. So this has to be loose and those can be snug fit, it's completely up to you. Now those two parts are sliding on each other, so they should be smooth and with some free space between them. We can use sandpaper to remove printing lines and other imperfections, just few strokes will be enough. You can also check at this at that point if the pipe is fitting correctly. If everything is okay, put the screws. Now put this part up with those tiny little pokes here. Like I said, it should be moving quite freely. Even too much. Okay. Now we have to put the iris. And this hole is going to move <coughs> on this printed part. The last one is a bit tricky, but... Okay, we got it. Now we take the part with the smaller diameter and assemble it with the rest. And now we can check if the iris is working correctly. Okay. And now we have to screw the nuts. You can do it by hand or with the screwdriver. You should do it tight enough so there will be no wobble, but also loose enough so the iris still will be able to move freely. Still too much. Okay, we 
this it's gonna be much easier now okay, okay because this is going to un unscrew itself during the usage you have to use the Loctite or some super glue. What do you have at, ha at hand? This is just some super glue. This is how it looks almost fully assembled just left to add a grip and you can install it. The whole shop vacuum system is made of those 50 mm water pipes. It's extremely cheap and versatile because you can buy all sort of connectors, splitters at almost any angle. I do another video about all parts of my SS vac, Sauron shop vac. Valve will probably move in the pipe, but it's enough to put a small and short screw and you are done. Yeah, something like this, currently. Okay, so how does it work exactly? You create a conduit with those 50 mm pipes. In many points of it, you add different T-pipe joints. One of them can be like this one. And you connect the conduit with your shop vac. You also should make yourself a flexible connectors to connect this valve with different machines in your shop. I use flexible pipes with spring steel core. On both ends I have 20 or more centimeters of the same 50 millimeter pipe. When you want to use your machine, open valve, enable shop vac and do your job. When finished, close valve and you don't have to even remove the flexible hose. <laughs> 